Hi CrossFit Inconceivable crew, Coach Amelia here back for video number two of four in the One Step Closer workout series. This is the workout explanation, technique review, and scaling options. This is how the workout is designed. One Step Closer is the combination of two required movements essentially. 400 meters of a single arm overhead walking lunge. And what that means is you have one arm up overhead and you walk for 400 meters. You could switch whenever you want. When you want to switch which arm is up and overhead, you could do it all on one side if you wanted to. I'd recommend alternating periodically. The alternative, if you don't have that space to move or don't have that mapped out, is to do 200 single arm overhead reverse lunges. And what that means is you just do 200 reps, which is 100 for each leg leading essentially with the arm overhead. And again, you can switch when you have the weight in whichever arm overhead at whatever choice in that time that you choose. You also have to complete 80 alternating one arm snatches. And that means taking the dumbbell from ground to overhead in one movement. And I'll show you what that looks like 80 times or 40 for each arm switching every time. So you do right, left, right, left, right, left, all the way through till 80 total reps. You can break that up however you want. You could do all the lunges and then all the snatches. I'd recommend thinking of it in some rounds. For example, I'm going to do four rounds and I'm going to be doing the single arm reverse lunges. So I'm going to be doing 50 lunges and then 20 snatches four times, essentially. The tricky part, there's always a catch, right? Is that every four minutes, we have to stop and do five lateral burpees over whatever object it is that we've chosen for our overhead holding, okay? So that interrupts us and we have to kind of stop and do those burpees and then pick up wherever we were in that partition amount of the workout. So a little bit of balancing mental math, maybe keeping a list nearby of how many you've done or rounds and just scratch them off as you go. Um, I might do that with pencils here. We'll get creative. So let's go over the movements and then I'll review this one more time before we start the workout. Okay. So thinking about technique for lunging before we add the overhead object is to think about getting to 90 and 90. Okay. Here. So I'm at 90, 90. I'm not way far forward. My knee's not going past my toe, but I'm also not kind of leaning back and compressing. And I don't want to drive forward with my torso, especially because we are going to add that overhead object. We really want to think about being stacked here, okay? So my torso is above my hip. See, my toe is active, engaged in that back foot so that I can press myself back up to stand. Now, if you're doing this walking, you're going to be going forward, right? I'll have that arm overhead, my object, and I'll be walking forward. If we're going to do this in place, we're calling for a reverse lunge. And that means we step back, okay, here and forward, stepping back. The knee should touch the ground. If for any reason that's too much pressure, you can wear knee pads. You could have a softer implement underneath you, or you could just get as close as you can, you know, thinking about stepping back and getting as near as you can if you don't want to actually land with that kneecap on the floor, okay? So practice a few of those in place, thinking about your overhead height, if you're indoors like me, and doing the best that you can. Let's add that overhead object. So you might have an odd object here and you'd stack it. And again, if I'm staying in place, I'm gonna stand here, hope I won't bump and stand too much, and step back, reverse lunge, and tall, back, and tall. Thinking about stepping a little bit wider, so I'll show you that from reverse. I don't wanna get really narrow here, that's pretty unbalanced. I wanna think about stepping a little bit wider so there's some space and balance between, okay? You can always eliminate the holding of that overhead object. You could hold at your side. So if it got to be too much up top, you still want the added resistance. You could hold in one arm that object at your side and do that. And you can reduce the reps of the lunge. And we are going to cap this at 16 minutes. So there will be some fixed output here. If you can't get all the reps done, you won't work for any longer than 16 minutes with this workout, okay? So walking lunges, you'd be moving forward, can be holding the object as you do that. If you're in place, we're gonna work on reverse lunges. We can hold the object up overhead. If we want to, we can keep it at our side if that's too much stress on the shoulder, but you still want a little bit more resistance. Always think about keeping that torso upright, especially when we have weights. Sometimes there's a tendency to lean forward and kind of work ourselves back up with the core. We really wanna stay stacked here and be firm in that positioning throughout the movement. Or again, if we're overhead, keeping that arm close and kind of glued to the ear. This arm that's not weighted can sometimes drift out to the side to help you with balance, okay? 
So that's that first movement. You can decide 400 meters broken up however you like. Maybe you have a 100 meter pass or maybe you'll just stop wherever you are and do the other movements. Or in place, 200 meter, excuse me, 200 reps of lunges or 100 each leg leading. And that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to break up into four rounds. The other movement that we have is a single arm snatch alternating. And that goes from ground to overhead in one movement. Okay. And we're going to break that up. If you have an object, it could be your water bottle, it can be a dumbbell, a kettlebell. We're going to go through each phase of that movement. Let's start with the deadlift. And we're going to do three each side. So we're going to reach that object, keep our chest tall and proud. I'm going to keep my shoulders above my hips. And I'm going to add just enough knee bend to be able to get to that object, okay? If I need to get a little lower, I can do that. I don't want to get to that object by rounding out my back. Okay, so I'm going to get three deadlifts with my right arm. And then switch and do three with my left arm. Okay, and then I set it back down. And I'm going to work on the zip and high pull. So I'm going to get that deadlift and then keep my arm close to my body and bring the elbow high, okay? So here, two, three, good, and switch, one, keeping that close, pressing the legs to the floor, good. And I'm going to finish that movement by turning it over. And if your weight is heavy, you can, you're going to re-dip under it and then stand tall. If you can manage it, you can take it all the way up in one movement. That would be like a muscle snatch, okay? Checking my ceiling height here each time. So I'm going to come. Redip. Make sure I stand all the way tall at the end with my arms stacked. Good. Let's just get two with each arm. And then practice switching because these are going to be alternating. And you can hand it to yourself anytime below your shoulder or you can put it on the ground and switch there. Okay. So I could pass it to myself, switch hands. I still have to touch the ground and then come up. If that's too much, go ahead and just take it to the hang. So it's too much to pick it up from the ground every time. You can just come to here, get that same pull, and stand up tall, okay? And if for any reason going overhead right now is too much, just do the deadlift portion. Remembering when it's a low object to keep that chest tall and proud, and just do the alternating deadlifts, okay? If for any reason that overhead movement is too much, you can also take it from the hang just to here every time so you don't have to reach so low, okay? Or if you're doing the full movement, tapping the ground, punching it to the ceiling, keeping the arm close, and switching each time. You have to do 80 of those total, 40 each arm. I'm going to break them up into four sets. So I'm going to do 20 snatches. Switching each time with my 50 lunges. I'm going to do that four times. Let's talk about that burpee over the object. So every four minutes, the clock is going to chime. And we need to do a burpee over our object. So we come next to it. Do a burpee. Get our chest to the ground. Then bring your hands to your feet back closer to our hands. And then we can hop over and do that on the opposite side. Okay, For burpees, stepping back and stepping up and stepping over are also always options, okay? So choose your medium, hopping, stepping back and up, hopping or stepping over five every four minutes, okay? For as long as we're doing this workout, including right at the start. So this is the first thing that we're going to do, all right? So I'm gonna show you the workout in writing one more time. Give you a moment to grab your materials in between or as long as you want, you can pause it. We're gonna do 400 meters, one arm overhead walking lunge, or 200 one arm overhead reverse lunges total, meaning 100 each leg. Then 80 alternating one arm snatches total, meaning 40 each arm. I'm gonna break those up into like a four round component. You can do it however you like, partition it as you will, break up that work, switch which arm is overhead periodically, hopefully in a systematic fashion. Every four minutes, including at zero, so at the start of the workout, we're going to do five lateral burpees over whatever object we have chosen to have for our overhead movement. All right, so go ahead and grab your equipment, grab a drink, and meet me again for the workout.